Alright people, what's happening? Welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War video here on the channel. Now you're going to have to get used to hearing that phrase a lot because we're going to bring you so many videos over these next coming weeks on Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And this one right here is everything you need to know about how Warzone will be integrated into Black Ops Cold War and how it does interact with Modern Warfare still and how all three games put together interact like one nice happy family, Black Ops Cold War, Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Call of Duty Warzone. Make sure you hit subscribe to the channel if you are new, turn that bell on so you never miss an upload and hit like on the video if you do learn something, which I'm sure you will and if you have any questions by the end of this video leave them in the comments below but i'm sure you won't because i'm going to cover everything that you need to know so first things first the first point i want to make about color gt warzone coming to black ops cold war is that it was leaked by a verified account that warzone will not change engine for black ops cold war now what does that mean to somebody who doesn't know what that means that just means that the gameplay is going to feel very similar to Call of Duty Modern Warfare in a sense of the movement and stuff like that. It's going to run off the same game and engine, so you should see the same movement mechanics, you know, slide, cancel, that type stuff should all still be in the game. It should feel very familiar, very similar. And another point I do want to note is that console players will finally have a field of view option. Previously, FOV was only on PC. Now, for people who don't know what field of view means, is like... You know when you activate a dead silence and the camera sort of like zooms out a bit so you can see more stuff in front of you? Well, PC players could have the camera like that permanently without a dead silence. That's what it means. Like the field of view is how much of the screen that you can see from your first person point of view as your character. So consoles will finally be getting a field of view slider on the next gen. I'm not sure if that will be on the current gen, the PS4 and Xbox One, but the PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S will definitely have the field of view slider, which is massive for console players, because previously it was only on PC, which gave PC players a massive, massive advantage. So diving straight into the information now, as you can see on the screen, we can see the season one and the pre-season roadmap for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Starting on November 24th, that is when we get our first content drop. Obviously, the game does release on November 13th. We're going to see the Nuketown 84 map, which is a revamp of the classic Nuketown map. If you know about Black Ops, you know about Nuketown. Do you know what I mean? So now we've got a 1984 version of Nuketown, fan favourite map. Everybody loves Nuketown. And coming in Season 1, which begins on December 10th, which is when Warzone is going to drop for Black Ops Cold War. We're going to see more multiplayer maps and modes. 2v2 gunfights with him we're going to see new weapons new zombies modes and much much more as well as a classified warzone experience now like it says here warzone does begin on cold war on december 10th so when the game drops on november 13th don't expect to jump in to a whole new warzone setup it's going to be very very familiar to you and it's just going to be the modern warfare warzone pretty much but you can use black ops weapons now, starting on the 13th of November with the launch of Black Ops Cold War and continuing with the release of Black Ops Cold War Season 1 on December 10th and beyond, Warzone players will begin to see Black Ops Cold War content coming into all modes of the Call of Duty Battle Royale experience, including a variety of content indicated in the roadmap image which we are looking at right now. This is only the beginning though. Expect to uncover more secrets and experience memorable moments as the Cold War heats up across Verdansk and beyond in the months and seasons ahead. Now that and beyond there in the last sentence does hint that there will be new maps coming. Uh, obviously, like I've said, when you jump into the game on November 13th, it's probably just going to be Verdansk and the classic Warzone map that you're used to. Because as you know, Season 6, I believe it is, of Modern Warfare is still going on. And that doesn't end until, I'm assuming, December 10th is the date that it does end, actually. I've not done the maths, but I believe it will be. So, it does say Verdansk and beyond, which makes me believe that we're going to see a new map um on the De on december 10th i'm not sure if verdansk will be scrapped you know there might be like a nuke or something that happens to verdansk which gets rid of it so we can only play the new map or there might be two maps on warzone who knows we will have to wait and see but now boys we're getting into how does modern warfare black ops cold war and warzone all integrate together like a happy family like i mentioned at the start so warzone will support both modern warfare and black ops cold war which launches on november 13th so what we are going to go through now is how does player progression work how does weapon progression work what about operator selection 
battle pass integration and the store access in addition to the store though there is a huge amount of free content coming to cold war including maps weapons modes and more making season one the start of the biggest series of ongoing post-launch free content drops in black ops history now you can see on the screen here this is the intro to the new player progression system we've got a nice little map there that might look confusing to some but let's dive right into it earn xp and level up to unlock epic in-game rewards simultaneously across all three games which is cold war warzone and modern warfare progression sinks across all games when season one launches in december on december 10th what that means is as you can see we've got military ranks there military ranks is your classic 1 to 55 ranks as everybody is familiar with through playing uh, call of duty you know you get level one two three four all the way up to level 55 once you hit level 55, you transition into seasonal levels and prestige, and it says 1 to 200 plus there. So as you can see, we are getting a new system called seasonal levels and prestige. Now the prestige system is coming back to Call of Duty, which is very good for a player like me who loved that grind of just grinding to level 55 and then resetting to 1 again, but getting that new prestige emblem and being able to go again, trying to get to prestige master. That was my favourite part of like the Black Ops franchise and all of the Call of Duty series, to be honest. As people who know me know, Black Ops 2 was my favourite Call of Duty game of all time. I got to Prestige Master in just under seven days on that. I absolutely loved that game. So I'm very glad that Prestige has come back. Let's dive into how it works. So, Worlds have collided. For the first time in Call of Duty history, Season 1 will bring universal and synchronised player progression that works between Cold War, Modern Warfare and Warzone. Black Ops Cold War progression builds on a familiar and similar path to Modern Warfare while incorporating the new innovative prestige system which gives you more challenge and earnable content. On November 13th, Black Ops Cold War is set to launch with an updated player progression system which we've just mentioned. Players will begin by completing military ranks 1 to 55, traditional level and journey to unlock the gameplay items and once completed you'll enter the updated and improved seasonal leveling system that begins at launch with the pre-season and becomes synchronized with all three games at the beginning of season one so when you start black ops cold war on november 13th you're going to be level one and being able to play up to whatever rank you want you can even prestige um in the pre-season but when the season one starts everything resets like it does with uh, modern warfare we've seen at the end of each season your rank resets so starting on season one it's gonna your rank's gonna reset in cold war modern warfare as well which means you're going to be level one on cold war and on modern warfare and of course in warzone so as you level up you're going to be the same rank through each of the games which means if you jump onto modern warfare and you level up from level 10 to 20 and then you go to play black ops cold war and you were level 10 to begin with you're going to be level 20 in cold war as well now at the launch of season one in december the path to gaining xp and leveling up will be shared across all three titles so that's just a little intro into the new leveling system let's get into some more details so it says check the barracks menu on each title for a new change your enlisted ranks are now known as military ranks which we've mentioned already a million times that's levels 1 to 55 and these are going to be fully synchronized between all three games through black ops cold war and season one for modern warfare and warzone this universal progression system means you can level up and attain xp no matter which of the titles you're playing which as i've already mentioned is a fantastic fantastic system which means you can play whatever game you want and you're still going to get xp for it and level up the same on every game you can progress in the usual manner by playing multiplayer completing challenges uh, and playing in warzone in addition black ops cold war zombies shares the same progression too so you'll be able to level up no matter how you play which i didn't actually know that there i didn't know that zombies contributed to the same progression so that is a big feature there now let's talk about that reset because it might be a bit confusing to people so to synchronize the player progression across all three games your initial rank will reset in modern warfare and in warzone at the start of black ops cold war season one the reset is synchronized to your current level in cold war when season one begins so like i said if you get to level 55 in um, Cold War before Season 1 begins, um, so you go past that, I believe you'll go back to 55 like they have been doing. So you keep all your unlocks and everything like that. It says there as well, don't forget, don't worry, your XP is reset. Everything you've unlocked remains available um, in Modern Warfare. So let's talk about the Prestige a little bit. We're going to have a more in-depth video going through this Prestige system coming next. So make sure you check out the next video, hit subscribe and turn the bell on so you don't miss that one there because it's going to be a good one. So your Season 
seasonal officer progression is now known as seasonal levels, which incorporates a seasonal prestige system, which is fully synchronized between all three games, as I say. Uh, and as you begin season leveling, expect for an updated interference to the leveling system. Seasonal progression has been updated with aspects of the traditional prestige system, which we've all been missing, allowing players to unlock and use rewards, including cool legacy player identity items from the world of Black Ops, which I'm sure will include new emblems, new calling cards, maybe new characters, which I'm really looking forward to getting on that ground in multiplayer, as well as Warzone in every other game mode. But getting on in multiplayer, trying to level up as quick as I can, trying to hit prestige as quick as I can, I can't wait for it. Of course, you can earn XP in Warzone and in Modern Warfare towards your Black Ops Cold War rank, but the preferred way to prestige is by playing Black Ops Cold War, because there will be challenges that are focused on Black Ops Cold War gameplay, XP events and other advantages planned throughout the seasons towards Cold War, which makes sense, of course, like, you don't want to be Treyarch making a game, Black Ops Cold War, and people just play Modern Warfare because they don't have to play Cold War to level up do you know what i mean they need some sort of advantage to make their game number one so moving on that was player progression let's see about weapon progression so this december warzone players can access black ops cold war weapons and the largest weapon arsenal in call of duty history as you can see from this graphic right here boys you can use your call of duty black ops cold war loadout and your call of duty modern warfare loadouts in call of duty warzone it's going to be a combined weapons arsenal combined classes it's going to be mad there's going to be so many choices so many combinations and options it's going to be crazy once this does drop i can't wait to see what classes people put together so at the start of season one when everything syncs up expect every weapon from modern warfare and new weapons from cold war to be accessible in warzone including blueprints and camo variants the camo variant is a big thing a lot of people grinded out damascus and obsidian camos this year they will carry over to black ops cold war so don't worry about that your camos carry over to black ops cold war so every weapon you've unlocked in modern warfare as well as every weapon you're going to unlock in Black Ops Cold War is planned to continue to be available in Warzone which includes Modern Warfare primary and secondary weapons including blueprints and the current plan is for Warzone to also include primary and secondary weapons available throughout the lifespan of Cold War both together including launch and seasonal weapons as well as every single weapon blueprint naturally this includes the assortment of free weapons you you received during every season of modern warfare which is a good thing which means the growl the cr56 amax the fennec they're all going to carry over to black ops cold war even though they were battle pass uh, unlocks and it is worth noting that your modern warfare and cold war weaponry will be shared with warzone and there is no plans to remove any weapons from warzone as of yet but i can see that changing in the future let's say the growl becomes the new meta again and the growl is a modern warfare weapon Treyarch aren't going to want a modern warfare weapon to be the best weapon in black ops are they so they might nerf i'm not sure if they have the legal rights to nerf modern warfare weapons because it's not their game but they might just remove it entirely and it's worth noting as well that you won't be able to use modern warfare weapons in black ops cold war multiplayer and vice versa so say you unlock or say you want to start using the kilo in black ops cold war uh, Warzone, you're not going to be able to go into Black Ops Cold War multiplayer to upgrade the Kilo. You're going to have to go back to Modern Warfare to upgrade that weapon. It says, in short, you're going to need a bigger gunsmith table. Now look at this. This is what I was just thinking about. It says, today was a good day to bring two AKs to Verdansk. You can theoretically have a primary weapon of an AK-47 put on overkill and have your secondary weapon as an AK-47 because there's going to be like overlapping weapons so like black ops will have an mp5 uh, modern warfare is going to have an mp5 of course so it'll be interesting to see how those weapons like do against each other like is the the black ops mp5 going to be better than the modern warfare one or vice versa it's going to be interesting to see another crazy part of this new armory and gunsmith system is that it says at the start of season one modern warfare's perks lethal and tactical equipment as well as field upgrades and specific kill streak will stay in warzone which is massive you know you're going be able to use your modern warfare perks and your c4 your heartbeat sensor in warzone so it's going to be interesting to see again like i say with the combinations of guns but the combinations of perks you know you might have a better perk one from black ops and then you might want to use amped from modern warfare if there's not an amped in black ops cold war it'll be very interesting to see um, and especially because like i remember in black ops one um ghost was a perk one but obviously ghost is a perk two in modern warfare so it'll be nice to see like that like interchangeable things you know what i mean so you don't have to if you want to run ghost you can either have ghost as perk one or perk two so it's going to be very good to jump in and just try stuff out you know what i mean next up boys we have the operator selection and starting on the 12th of november cold war operators will join 
win the fight in Verdansk. At launch, Cold War owners will be able to drop into Warzone with characters they've earned in the new game, Cold War, or in Modern Warfare. So you can choose to play as Ghost, you can choose to play as Woods, you can choose whoever you want from either game. Which means all skins that you've purchased in the store and everything like that, they should theoretically carry over. Which is a very good sign, it's not just wasted money. And now boys, how does the battle pass system work in Cold War and Warzone? How does it overlap? How is it integrated? Let's check it out. So you can access up to 100 unlockable tiers of Cold War inspired operators, weapons and more. Items available for use in Warzone and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. You can see a nice little image on the screen here. It says once you unlock a weapon, you can use it in Cold War and in Warzone. So that just shows the integration right there. The Battle Pass system continues with Season 1 coming loaded with brand new content for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. Progress through the Battle Pass system as we're familiar with by playing any of the free games. So even if you're playing Modern Warfare, you'll still advance through the battle pass on cold war which is a very nice again feature but if you're still playing modern warfare once cold war comes out then i think you're doing it a bit wrong like what are you doing with your life but nevertheless you can do that if you do want to so just a little note here as well it says that the modern warfare battle pass content earned and store purchases from modern warfare are planned to continue to be available in modern warfare and in warzone whilst they try and continue to optimize for, for platforms and disk space they plan to retain all modern warfare content for use in warzone at least through the initial cold war seasons for, of content which means that all your skins all of that stuff that you did purchase that's just confirmation you will keep your skins at least in the initial part of cold war unless they decide to remove all of the modern warfare content content to free up this space because i'm predicting this game is going to be about 200 gigabytes maybe even 300 on the next gen consoles by the end of it and last but not least boys we do have the shop how does the store work in the two games you know each game features its own carefully curated in-game store which in-game content like cosmetic bundles and stuff can be purchased for cod points now there is a separate store for cold war and a separate store for modern warfare which when you buy that stuff it'll feature in those games Obviously, if you buy a skin on Modern Warfare, you can use that in Modern Warfare multiplayer, but it will carry through to Warzone. If you buy a skin on Modern Warfare, you can use that skin in Warzone or in Modern Warfare multiplayer, but not Cold War multiplayer and vice versa. If you buy a skin in Cold War, you can use that skin in Cold War multiplayer, Warzone, but not in Modern Warfare multiplayer. And one final piece of intel, as it says on the website here, there is crossplay and cross-gen which means you can experience the next generation of global combat as one big community, regardless of the platform or console that you do play on, which means, you know, PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and PC are all going to play together on one like platform. Do you know what I mean? It's going to, you're going to be playing, you, you could be on Xbox One and be playing against someone on PS5. So it's mad out here. It's going to be massive, boys. This Cold War is going to be huge. Not only is it available in Warzone, but it does mention here at the end of this paragraph that you can play together in multiplayer and in zombies. So if you've got mates on the opposite console or on PC, you can still play zombies, multiplayer and Warzone with those guys there. And just the final, final note, it says that there's no current plans to remove content from Warzone, which would be the Modern Warfare content. But to ensure the best possible player experience, there might be occasions where content becomes temporarily or permanently inaccessible. Stay frosty and execute the mission. So yeah, boys, that is going to be it for this video. A bit of a long one, but I have covered everything that you need to know about Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Cold War and Call of Duty Warzone and how the three will integrate and interact together once Cold War does drop on the 13th of November. So if you did enjoy this video, please hit like on it, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notification because you won't want to miss the next upload where we do talk about the player progression system. We take a deeper dive into that new prestige system. We're going to go through how everything works and hopefully answer all of the questions. So yeah, man, I'll catch us in the next video, boys. Take it easy.